Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and there was a bunch of old fucking niggas and fucking young boys back there all ass naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking shit about Boosie. Rumors are going around that Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade are throwing creepy gay parties at their house, and it looks like Gabrielle has finally decided to address all the hearsay about her husband's sexuality. And you can either sign up for it and like swim in it, and you can have a, an amazing life swimming in the bullshit, and then you wonder why you can't sleep at night. Speculation about Dwayne Wade being on the DL is nothing new. However, several industry insiders recently made some shocking allegations against Dwayne, claiming that he and Gabrielle organized depraved parties at their house where older Hollywood men are entertained by young boys. Well, Gabrielle is now finally setting the record straight on all these crazy rumors. So let's get into it. I choose to center my peace and my self-worth now. Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union are once again making headlines for all the wrong reasons after rumors surfaced that these two are throwing wild parties for closeted Hollywood men. For years, Dwayne's sexuality has been a hot topic on the internet, with fans speculating that Dwayne's either gay or bi. And these speculations didn't just come out of nowhere. Several people who used to work closely with Dwayne have dropped hints that Dwayne's not the wholesome family man he appears to be in public. Back in 2010, Dwayne's former business partner, Richard Von Hootman, claimed that Dwayne used to host secret substance-fueled parties while he was still married to his first wife. According to Richard, Dwayne had a four-bedroom place on the first floor of a high-rise, and he recalled one incident when the cleaning crew called him to complain about the trash department. I went down there, and what I saw was disgusting, Richard said. The apartment was trashed, filthy, and it wasn't the first time. Richard claimed he saw used condoms on the floor, empty champagne and hard liquor bottles, nearly finished blunts, and half-eaten food rotting on tables and furniture. Apparently, Dwayne and his crew would have these parties a few times a week, and they'd invite dozens of people, mostly rappers and random women that they'd picked up in clubs. The parties reportedly continued after Dwayne divorced his wife and started dating Gabrielle, and Richard said Gabrielle would often join in on the fun. Now, Richard didn't mention anything about Dwayne hooking up with other men at these parties. However, considering all the allegations that came from other industry insiders, that's definitely something to think about. What's also crazy is that Dwayne's ex-wife claimed during their divorce that Dwayne infected her with an STD around 2007, right around the time Richard claimed Dwayne started throwing his secret parties. And though Dwayne later tried to sue his ex-wife for defamation of character, the allegations surrounding his sexuality never really went away. And it didn't help that Dwayne himself unknowingly added fuel to these rumors when he admitted that he used to enjoy wearing his sister's clothes and heels. In a recently resurfaced interview, Dwayne talked about supporting his daughter, Zaya, when she came out as transgender. And here's what he said about wearing women's clothing when he was younger. When it hit, when it hit my doorstep at three years old, like I said, when me and my wife looked at each other, Right, and the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels, I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those things. So at first I said to myself, oh no, I did that. So I ain't just doing the things that I did. And then it kept going further and further and then me and my wife had to look at each other and say, well, well, what if? And at that moment, everything that I was taught went out the window because now I'm a parent. And my only, my sole job and my sole responsibility is to make sure that this kid grow up knowing that it's supported and is loved. Now, speaking of Zayad. No, no way. This man just said, I used to wear my sister's high heels and stuff. And, you know, it was just as like, you know, as a joke and stuff like that. But then me and Gabriel said, what if? Oh, nah. They took that what if way too far. They took that what if to the... 10th extreme. Oh, they said, what if? And then Zaya came out. You know what I mean? I think that's their name. Yeah, what? Nah, bro. I think um D-Wade is definitely zesty. 100,000%, okay? This is why he's okay with um allowing his son, um well, his daughter now, but, you know, his son transition. He allowed his kid to transition like this, okay? And I think this is because he is zesty himself. He has a vested interest in this, you know? He likes stuff like this, you know what I mean? If this is... 
this is disturbing to even talk about, right? But I also want to talk about, like, I believe that NBA players also attend these parties, okay? Even though it wasn't mentioned by the dude who's been leaking this stuff, I believe this is also happening and taking place. Even if, you know, maybe maybe he hasn't found out about it, but I believe that um, NBA players are also attending these parties as well. And um, they also have nude, naked basketball games, okay? They have naked basketball games, right? where they all like play basketball naked. Like this is a known thing that I just learned about this ritual, um, the naked basketball ritual. It's a humiliation ritual mixed with um, uh, just a pleasure thing for the elites. I also commented that I believe the elites spectate the naked basketball games that um, you know we're hearing about, that we're just hearing about. Well, not all of us. Obviously, a lot of people do know about the, the basketball games, but a lot of us are just hearing about this. And yeah, I believe the elites are spectating these games. They are choking their chicken to these games. And, you know, these dudes are being humiliated. And then a lot of them are also enjoying these games, right? Like D-Wade. You know what I mean? Dwayne Wade. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's a good example of someone who enjoys these types of games and hosts these types of games, in my opinion, allegedly, okay? And so, yeah. Yeah, D-Wade is zesty, you know? D-Wade is 100% zesty. That's the only reason he would allow this to take place. This is the only reason he would, you know, encourage this. And yeah, and try to defend this. Like, this is okay, you know? Otherwise, he would have Boosie's mentality, right? We all kind of, we pretty much all share Boosie's mentality. Every normal person. So yeah, no, he, he's zesty. He's zesty. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding Dwayne and Gabrielle's parenting choices, and Dwayne's ex-wife and Zaya's mother, Savan, claimed that Dwayne and Gabrielle encouraged Zaya to change gender so they could profit from her transition. And the reason why Savan was so upset by Zaya's transition was because Dwayne and Gabrielle Disgusting. kept talking on Zaya's behalf, and it seemed like they were really milking Zaya's gender identity for attention. Zaya, formerly known as Zion, was assigned male at birth. However, Dwayne claimed in an interview that Zaya knew her gender identity was different when she was just three years old. She was the one who sat down with us as a family and said, hey, I don't think I'm gay, right? I identify myself as a young lady, but she's, she's known that for nine years. She's known since she's, she was three. She's known since she was three years old. Another thing that stirred up controversy is that Dwayne and Gabrielle filed a request to legally change Zaya's name and gender before Zaya turned 18. Zaya's mom, Savan, tried to block this request, and she filed documents, claiming that the custody agreement she made with Dwayne states that Dwayne is obligated to discuss with her and obtain her input in the major decisions affecting their children. However, Savan didn't succeed in blocking Zaya's name and gender change, and in February 2013, the court granted Dwayne and Gabrielle's request to change 15-year-old Zaya's legal identity. Dwayne later fired back at Savon on Instagram and accused her of centering herself and her needs without regard to her children. However, this message didn't land well with fans, and they said Dwayne and Gabrielle are the ones centering themselves in any conversation. Meanwhile, rumors about Dwayne and Gabrielle's unconventional marriage and their alleged secret gay parties gained more traction on social media after Jaguar Wright claimed that a lot of the so-called Hollywood power couples like the Wades and the Smiths are engaging in some wild and possibly illegal activities in the privacy of their home. Jaguar claimed that Will and Jada used to throw wild parties with young men at their house. However, ever since the whole entanglement situation blew up, the parties moved to the Wade household. All of this was going on like all of these motherfuckers be doing all of this wild <sighs> they ain't doing as much i guess now because they getting older i guess it just moved over to the wade house jaguar clarified that she wasn't saying all this just because Dwayne and gabrielle supported zaya's transition and she claimed that one famous artist told her he personally witnessed some depraved stuff going on at one of Dwayne and gabrielle's house parties i'm not saying that because of their trans daughter I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front, so they went to the back and there was a bunch of old and young boys back there all naked in the Wade house. Jaguar also slammed Gabrielle for throwing shade at rapper Boozy, and she said it looks like... Before we get into that, okay, before we get into Jaguar and the Boozy throwing shade at, um, and Dwayne Wade and all that, before we get into that, right... The whole Will Smith and D. Wade house family situation is incredibly believable, okay? This is incredibly believable for multiple reasons, okay? And here's why. Will Smith, right? Who's his kid? His son is Jaden Smith. Will Smith also has a son, Jaden Smith, right? 
And there's a very similar thing going on with Jaden Smith and Zaya. The only difference is Jaden Smith st stayed a male. He didn't transition. You know what I mean? He stayed who he really was gender wise. But if you look at the impact, Will Smith has had the same impact on his kid that D Wade has had the, that that D Wade has had on Zaya. Okay? They have had the same impact on their children. The same impact. And the only difference is that we actually got to see how Jaden Smith was before. So we see how bad Will Smith like changed him. We see how Will Smith was in Karate Kid. He was masculine. He was beating up Asian bullies, bro. He was giving them the hands, bro. Putting the paws on them. Like, bro, <laughs> for real, hitting them with y'all meaners, bro. Like, he was really beating up Asian bullies, like, like, like on, on his, bro. He was on some other type of timing. He was on his Black Air Force demon timing. You know what I mean? Jaden was not playing back in them days. If you remember the Karate Kid days, right? And I know there's an OG Karate Kid movie, but I'm talking about Jaden Smith. We're not talking about that movie, obviously, dummy. All right. So yeah. Um, but yeah, we remember how you remember how masculine he was and how cool he was, bro. Like I used to look up to Jaden Smith as a little kid, bro. I used to think he was so cool. What when, when he was a Karate Kid? Not not this one. Not when he was like this. When he was a Karate Kid and I was a young kid watching him in the movies, I thought he was so cool, bro. This man was doing backflips and kick flipping, bro. He was going crazy, bro. I'm, bro. Bro, that movie was heat, but you can see how he went from that to who he is now, a zesty cake, um, cupcake, okay? We can see how he went and how he changed, and one of the biggest things that impacted that change was Will Smith. If you see all the videos, you can see Will Smith forcing Jaden Smith into kissing him, into making out with him on camera. I am not making this up, you guys. This is actually there. Like, after you watch this video, after you finish this video, because there's more stuff I have to tell you that is insane. After you finish this video, you can look them up if you haven't already seen these clips. There are clips of him forcing Jaden Smith, like his face into a kiss. Like, 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 yo, this is borderline, like, the, <laughs> this is borderline assault. You know what I mean? Like, really? Like, he is like, forcing this boy into these and it is on multiple occasions this is not a one-time thing i've seen at least three videos of this where Jaden smith looks completely uncomfortable like he's like trying to like run away bro like he's literally trying to get away and will smith is like hmm, mm, like he's giving him that chris rock treatment really trying to get him in there like you know what i mean like and this is why i'm like if he's doing all of this on camera what do you think he's doing to will smith um to Jaden smith behind closed doors what do you think he did to Jaden smith you know, when they lived together and they and they were growing up. You know what I mean? When they slept on the same bed when Jaden Smith was a young boy. Back in the Karate Kid days. What do you think he did to him then? You got to ask yourself that. Because I don't think it's just a coincidence. Like I said, guys, there's not that many coincidences in the universe, you guys. There's really not that many genuine coincidences. If you actually look at, like, coincidences, there's not that many genuine ones. Okay? Like, there's, there's not this many coincidences in the universe. It's not a coincidence that Jaden Smith went from one of the most masculine, cool child actors, you know what I mean, to becoming a, a, a fruitcake, a zesty fruitcake, after we see all those clips of Will Smith forcing himself on Jaden on Jaden Smith, all right? And those are just the clips we see, right? So it's not, there's not that many coincidences in the universe, you guys. So it's obvious why he turned out how he did. Will Smith did this to him. Will Smith violated him. Right. And I think this is the same situation with D Wade and um, and Zaya. And I do want to say allegedly for all of this, because, you know, I just want to say that. But because this is what I believe. Right. But I do believe this 100 percent. But um, I also believe that D Wade, he violated Zaya. You know, what I mean, I think he did the same thing that Will Smith did to Jaden Smith. Yes. The only difference is that um, Zion never got to be like we never got to see who that was going to be. You know what I mean? He did it so early to his kid that we never got to see who that was going to be. You know what I mean? I feel like that's the same situation. And that's why it goes from the Will Smith house to the D. Wade house. Because they're the same. They're, 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 their family situation is so similar that, you know, you can easily transfer the rituals right here to right here. And it, and it makes no difference. The shift is easy to make, you know? And this is why I can I can clearly see what Jag White's, Jag White's saying here, you know? I can I can definitely go I can believe that. And uh yeah, that's how I that's what I think of it. I think I think, you know, Will Smith, he he violated Jaden, and now that's why Jaden Smith turned out how he did, and D Wade did the same thing to Zaya. 
And that's why Zaya turned out how Zaya's turning out. And it's just a cycle. And now it's going to keep, it's keep, it's just like, it's just a cycle. There'll be more families like this in Hollywood. This will keep going on. The whole agenda is to normalize this. If basketball players that people look up to, D Wade, if he does it, oh, you got to do, this got to be cool, right? Right? It's got to be cool. D Wade's doing it. I mean, this is how people think. These, there's some NBA fanboys. There's some real NBA meat riders out there, you guys. Some real NBA 2K meat riders. Some real NBA basketball meat rider fans, for real. Like, they will really meat ride anything these guys do, bro. There's some real fans out there like that being influenced by this right now. You understand? This is an agenda that these people are pushing on you. You need to wake up and realize what's happening, okay? Gabrielle is projecting her own issues and doubts on everyone else. I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking sh about Boosie. Maybe you suspicious of him because of the sh that's happening in your house. Get out of here. These sh be talking greasy on all kinds of shit. But I don't like when these so-called black Hollywood couples want to come in and then they want to sit there and play gatekeeper. Meanwhile, they were abusing and misusing all kinds of young people. And guess what? Don't nobody want to admit that they a victim. So they pretend to be friends. By the way, Boozy previously called out Dwayne and Gabrielle for letting Zaya change her name and gender before she turned 18. And that's when Gabrielle fired back at Boozy, suggesting that he's the one who's struggling with his sexuality. Very much Almost so. like thou doth protest too much, little Booze. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look you got a lot <laughs> on your mind. <laughs> But then Boozy clapped back at Gabrielle on Twitter, writing, Corny. LOL, Cringe. the whole world know I love women, and the whole world know your husband love D. Hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. They don't. Boozy also claimed that he didn't want to expose Dwayne. However, Gabrielle started the drama, so he had to set the record straight. I had refused to talk about y'all in interviews, and here you go. Go bang him with that dough and wait on a script, you little white girl. Now, fans were initially divided on this, Talk and while some accused Boosie. Boosie of doing too much, others claimed that Boozy just said what the whole industry already Get knows. However, Boozy didn't stop there, and during his recent appearance on Vlad TV, he accused Gabrielle of being a hypocrite because she tried to use being gay as an insult. So for her to say that, it makes her a hypocrite also. Yeah. You don't want nobody right. to talk about nothing that goes on with those situations, but you're saying somebody has on their mind. So if you do got on your mind, you feel some type of way about that. Baby, you a hypocrite, babe. Oh, so she's gay bashing you, basically. That's you gay bashing me. Are you gay bashing? You're a hypocrite. And it didn't take long before rumors Let about Dwayne and Gabrielle's pump. wild gay parties resurfaced again, with fans saying there's definitely something that's making Gabrielle act defensive every time anyone says something about her marriage. But how did Gabrielle respond to these rumors? Well, during her recent appearance on the Bloomberg Originals series, Idea Generation, Gabrielle was asked how she deals with all these crazy speculations about her and Dwayne, and she said it doesn't bother her at all because she only takes criticism from people she respects. How do I process criticism? Um, it depends on the person I'm getting the criticism from. If you are someone that I respect that I know you are looking out for my best interest, I take it for exactly what it is, and I try to see what you see. If you're somebody who, you know, you, you, you think criticizing is the same as insulting, I don't call that criticism, I don't even receive it. I'm not open to that. However, fans are saying it feels like Gabrielle is putting on a brave face and trying too hard to convince everyone she's unbothered. As for the rumored gay parties going down at the Wade household, it looks like a lot of people are convinced these aren't just rumors, and some fans are even saying that it's probably Gabrielle who's the main party planner. One fan said, Dwayne is the wife, while Gabrielle is the husband and the brain of the family, in which she masterminds those secret parties. And another fan added, Dwayne is sweeter than Grandma's coffee on Easter Sunday. 95% of these celebrities, athletes, and entertainers are not who they portray themselves to be when in front of the camera. The truth is more stranger than fiction. But how do you feel about all these rumors surrounding Dwayne and Gabrielle? Do you think there's something really creepy going on at the Wade household? Comment down below, and don't forget to check out this next story. Nah, that's why I rock with Boosie, because he cooked them. He cooked them. Let him cook.
That man got honor. He said, yeah, that's why she's a hypocrite. That's why she's, she's a hypocrite. Facts. She's a hypocrite, Boosie. Talk to him, Boosie. Nah, you see, that man's spitting, bro. Don't, don't be sleeping on Boosie, bro. Sometimes that man be spitting, bro. For real. But, um, yeah, man. G Gabriel Union, she is a cornball. I mean, Gabriel Union is a cringy black woman if I've ever seen one. Gabriel Union has to be the whitest black woman I have ever seen. I am not joking, you guys. Gabriel Union has to be the whitest black woman that I have ever seen in existence. Like, she is, like, incredibly cringy. Every time I hear her, I'm like, huh. Like, it just ma <laughs> it makes me want to shrivel up and just get this, like, I just get this disgusting feeling over me. I don't know what it is. It just feels nasty, you know? It's just cringy. It's just, it's just, huh. You're just so corny, Gabriel Union. Stop. Stop trying to act like you don't care. Stop trying to act like you're unbothered, miss unbothered. Like, stop trying to do that. You're, you are cringe, girl. You are the whitest black woman in existence. Stop. <laughs> you are not cool, Gabriel. Like, no, stop that, right? Oh, she's talking about, I don't take advice from people that I don't respect. If I don't respect them, I can't take your advice. I won't take your advice if I don't respect you. I don't respect you. Who do you respect, Gabriel Union? Who do you respect, Adam Silver? Who, Dwayne Wade's boss? Who do you respect? Get out of here. Man, get out of here with that. Hypocrite. Cho cringy ah. Cho lame ah. With cho ugly. Nah. <laughs> Don't let me get on your... Don't let me get on Gabriel Union's head, though. Nah. Nah, doing rituals with your kid had a... Nah, nah, nah. Don't let me get on this girl's head, bro. Don't let me get on this girl's head. Why this black woman looking ah? Uh, nah. Ugly ah. Uh, nah, bro. Don't let me... <laughs> nah, let me stop. Let me stop. I'm just playing with y'all. But nah, nah. Gabriel... I'm not playing about Gabriel Union, obviously. I'm just joking about the jokes. You know what I mean? But... Obviously, everything is serious about these people. You know, these are disgusting people. You know, what they're doing to their kids is awful. If no one speaks if no one speaks out against this, who will? If Boosie doesn't do it, if I don't do it, if people like us don't come out and speak against this, then who will? And you guys control if this messaging is, you know, popular or supported. Like the video, right? If you, if you agree with this messaging, you agree with this. You want people to know this. You want awareness to be spread, right? Like this video. Yeah, just show, just show support if you, if that's the case. You know what I mean? That's all you got to do. It's free. You know what I mean? Show love. I show y'all love. I drop y'all bangers pretty much consistently now. So there it is, you know? Show me that you appreciate it. And yeah, we, so you, you guys have been too. So I appreciate that. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like the video. Link to the Patreon's in the description. Let's know it's right here. Be easy, y'all.